Hey guys, I got some bad news. I did a test battle uh, to try to lay siege on that castle to ensure that I didn't make too big of a fool of myself. And it turns out it's a pretty good thing because as soon as I laid siege, uh, somebody showed up with 350 troops and beat my ass, took me prisoner, and all kinds of terrible things. So we are not quite ready to have our own kingdom. Unfortunately. There's a reason that the game generally progresses in the same way every time. We're going to uh, try to have our own kingdom as soon as possible, but we do need more, let's call it training, first. So, uh, excuse me. Let's go ahead and upgrade all these guys real quick. They need charisma because eventually they're going to be running armies themselves. Um, give the Chevy some toughness. I should get Archer shit need bombs. Anyway. I like to give most of my uh, officers a pistol. So I'm going to be giving them some, uh, some agility and some firearms. even though it's very laborious to reload it almost guarantees a kill if you hit with it. So, a bunch of guys running around on horses shooting pistols. Works well. As you can see I got quite a few more guys. I, I had gone around like I said I was going to and uh, recruited some people to be officers in my new Empire. One more. Should have probably leveled them up also before starting the LP, but you know, you gotta have some boring stuff, right? And fire horse. She does not have a horse. Oh, yeah, she does. Alright. Jeremus has no horse. Jeremus isn't really a fighter. He's a doctor. So, yeah. What I think we should do is, uh, get in another fight. Party size, 179. I need, uh, I need more renown. So I need to find... Let me camp until daylight. I need to find a really large army of sea raiders. Beat the hell out of me. What was that? What was that? Sea warriors. And it's... Uh, it's not a very large army of sea warriors. Yeah, we're not going to waste our time chasing them down. Ah, there we go. That's what we want. I actually wouldn't mind getting uh, 300 or so in it. it. There's some armies that are around 250, but it's easy to run into a combined group that equals around 300. But we know we can easily take this group because we can compare it to uh, similar sized groups that we have already destroyed. It'd be nice if we catch up with them while they are near some of their partners over here. Preferably not the Tegia warriors since they're mounted. And uh, I don't have much cavalry. And I have some spearmen, but not enough. <coughs> Night battle in the snow. It's got pretty background. See, they're a good ways off. I'm pretty sure we can take this hill right here. I 
but it only gave me 80 guys and it's letting them build up their forces. So they have 100 so far. What they've been doing lately is they'll send most of their infantry at me and then uh, their archers will hang back and we'll have to go find them and kill them. So uh, I'm going to fight the actual battle a little closer to the middle. It also gives us a better chance to catch fleeing enemies and slaughter them as they run. Oh, look at the Chevy doing her thing. I don't think I can hit anything from here. Well, here. <laughs> from their perspective, they're charging a couple of horse archers. All of a sudden, the top of the hill blackens with troops. It's pretty sweet. There we go. They're in range now. They're in my range anyway. Hopefully I'm not in theirs. So there goes that hope they drilled my horse in the face. And they drilled my horse again. Oh, I don't think they left anything back this time. I think they brought everybody. Which is okay with me. Hope it doesn't cause me to lose successful kind of troops. My horse is just about to bite the dust. Let's get in the mix. Actually, let's just tell everybody to charge. Well, I love those destroyers. They are too. Uh-huh, you had your back to me. Now you're dead. Oh, I died. <laughs> oh, well. I don't think there's a whole lot left to this battle anyway. Put my shield up so I could use my bastard sword two-handed, but I have barely any two-handed skills. Might not have been a great idea. Pretty sure I made worse decisions though. Uh, the Chevy knocked unconscious. That's all right. I don't mind when my hero characters die because they never truly die. Condatory is just riding around killing everybody. That's good. I wish I need to get some more of those. I went looking through Rodok land and didn't find one. Find one, rather. Oh, they knocked him out. They said didn't kill him. But yeah, a little bit more cavalry wouldn't be a bad thing. I don't. I do actually like to send my cavalry in a shock and all type charge. Right. Honest thieves. I wonder if disgraced Nords level up into anything. Okay, that was that was what we wanted most of all. We wanted a full prisoner queue. Because all these guys take lots of food to feed lots of money to pay, and we have absolutely no uh, steady income whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make a whole ton of money by selling prisoners, and then I'm going to buy a bunch of uh, a bunch of businesses. And that will give me steady income until I go to war with whatever country uh, that business resides in. Until, of course, I take the city that the business is in, and then I will continue getting money from it. So, <clears throat> it's kind of time consuming, but uh, it's how I usually do it, and 
So I'm going to do it this time. Don't need these outfits. You know what, I probably should have kept some of those leather boots, but I'm not going to. I'm going to buy, uh, buy gear for each one of my guys. Alright. Now here's where the real money is. Mercenary crossword. I wonder what they turn into. Alright, so we ended up with, uh, uh, 12,600. So that's pretty good. Speak to the guildmaster. What's happening, partner? You got a really bad haircut. Alright, let's see. I'm a productive enterprise. A mill. 4,000. Yes, that's, that's good. <coughs> then, uh, I think we'll place our next, next business in Rubichag. Right now we have 19,000 dinars, which is plenty for uh, making businesses. Or buying businesses. But I could always use more. I don't know if I can catch them. They are headed straight to Rivercheck, so it's not really out of my way. I'll try to chase them. Well, now they're going out the way. You bastards. You know, I'm just going to go to Rivercheck since. Oh, 229. I have got to kill them. We want to make a large stand. Thinking right up here. Yeah, because they're they're pretty close. So. This way, catch them coming down that slope and up this slope. Boy, you really can't hold that reticle open for long at all. Mod. All right, my guys got here. <clears throat> it's nice that my my range units are spread out up that hill because then they have an unobstructed line of fire that can shoot right over the, the heads of the rest of the guys. Was this a Tegia horde? Surely not. Or did a Tegia horde jo join them? I should have really paid attention before the battle. I may be fighting 400 people here. Alright, there's some ground troops. That's good. This army's pretty good, but I learned that a lot of good cavalry will make us look real bad. Hit the 15 minute mark. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. And we will see you on the next episode.